talk about gatekeeping. What is it? According to the dictionary, it's tending or controlling access to a gate. According to UrbanDictionary.com, it's talking on the phone while on the toilet. What? No. Okay, ignore that. Let's return to that first definition, controlling access. It's that part of gatekeeping that has given rise to its slang usage, and that's what I want to talk about today. Gatekeeping is when you take it upon yourself to decide who belongs to or has access to a certain community or identity. It's when you make a really big deal that that band's not really punk. It's when you derisively say that bisexuals aren't really queer. And yeah, it's when you get real mad because that girl's not a real geek. I mean, come on guys, it's a rough world out there. If you can find a community or identity that helps you make sense of the world, find your place in it, or just makes life more enjoyable, why should anyone tell you otherwise? And what it comes down to is that it's not your place. You don't know that person in their life. You're not the arbiter of what is and what is not. You're not the mayor of punk town. You're not king of the gays. And you're not the geek master general. I'm pretty sure that's Will Wheaton. Now, quick caveat. This rule is not about privileged people trying to occupy space that doesn't belong to them to make a point or whatever. This is not about people co-opting other people's heritage. I'm not trying to protect assholes here. If you're unsure whether a situation calls for gatekeeping, ask yourself this question. What is the cost to me of allowing this person access to my community? And what's the benefit to them? If you find the cost to you is nothing, or just annoyance, and the benefit to them significant, I implore you to let it go. I think you'll be happier for it. If you disagree with me, or have anything to add, I encourage polite, constructive discussion in the comments. Thanks for listening.